Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering and in this video we will learn that how to find the traffic flow parameters from the speed density relationship. I have been given a question which states that the speed density relationship for a particular road was found to be u is equal to 42.76 minus 0.22k where this u is the speed in kilometer per hour and k is the density in vehicles per kilometer. From this we have to find the jam density of k maximum capacity and density at the maximum capacity also we have to find the minimum time headway and minimum space headway so let's solve the question in question we have been given that speed is given by this relationship which is uh, u is equal to 42.76 minus 0.22 k and we know that traffic volume this is equal to traffic density multiplied by the speed of the vehicle so traffic volume this is denoted by q traffic density this is denoted by k and speed this is denoted by u so putting a uh, value of u in this equation so q will be equal to k multiplied by 42.76 minus 0.22 k or you can write this traffic volume equal to 42.76 k minus 0.22 k square okay so for uh, jam density when the density of the traffic is full traffic volume this will be equal to zero so to find the jam density you have to set this equation equal to zero it means you have to set q equal to zero so putting q equal to zero and this k uh, this in case of jam this will be denoted by kj which is the jam density so you will write zero equal to 42.76 multiplied by kj minus 0.22 kj square since this is a quadratic equation and you have to find the roots of this equation it will be it will be having two roots you can also write this as 42.76 times kj minus 0.22 multiplied by kj square is equal to zero take this jam density kj uh, common so it will be written as kj multiplied by 42.76 minus 0.22 kj equal to 0 either this jam density kj is equal to 0 or this second root that is 42.76 minus 0.22 kj this will be equal to 0 okay so you will write kj equal to 0 or this 42.76 minus 0.22 kj equal to 0 since kj that is the jam density this cannot be equal to zero okay so you have to find the root that is kj from this equation this gives us the jam density that is the kj equal to 42.76 divided by 0 0.22 uh, which uh, gives us the value of kj equal to 194.4 vehicle per kilometer okay because density is measured in the units of vehicle per kilometer or vehicle per meter. So this is the value of the jam density. Uh, also, so this uh, jam density, we can write this jam density as 194.4 vehicle per kilometer. Also traffic volume, which was given by this equation, that is Q is equal to 42.76 multiplied by K minus 0.22 K square so we have to find the capacity flow and for this capacity flow we have to find the density for the capacity flow so traffic flow will be maximum to find the maximum traffic flow or the capacity flow we will differentiate this equation and then take the value equal to zero so differentiate this equation so for maximum capacity you you, you can write dq divided by dk this is equal to zero to find the maximum value of k from this equation so dq by dk this is equal to 42.76 minus 0.44 k you have to set this equal to zero and find the value of k and that k will give us the maximum capacity flow okay so from this you will get the value of k equal to 42.76 divided by 0.44 or this k will be equal to 97.2 vehicle per kilometer okay so this is the density at the capacity flow or at the maximum flow and if you compare it with the earlier value of the k that's the jam density you will find that this value is half of the jam density okay so always remember that 
density at the capacity flow is half of the jam density. So density at the maximum capacity, this will be equal to 97.2 vehicle per kilometer. And then you can easily find the maximum capacity by simply putting the value in the equation. So Q max, this will be equal to 42.76 multiplied by 97.2 minus 0.22 into 97.2 whole square. This is equal to 2077.75 vehicle per hour. This is the value of the maximum capacity or maximum traffic volume. Okay. After that, we have to find the minimum time headway. So volume, traffic volume, this is also given as reciprocal of the time headway. Okay. So volume will be maximum when this time headway will be minimum. So you can also write this Q max. This is equal to uh, reciprocal of minimum time headway or minimum time headway. This will be equal to reciprocal of this Q max. Okay. So we already know the value of the Q max. That is the maximum traffic volume or the capacity flow, which we found out earlier. So putting value of Q max, you can write one divided by two, 1077.75 hour per vehicle because the unit of Q max this is vehicle per hour so its reciprocal will be hour per vehicle or you can change it into the seconds per vehicle for this since one hour this is equal to 3600 seconds okay so for hour you will write 3600 seconds and you will divide it by two 1077.75 to get the minimum time headway which is 1.73 seconds so this is the value of minimum time headway also to find the minimum space headway we know that space headway this is given as the reciprocal of the density okay and minimum space headway this will be corresponding to the capacity flow okay so minimum space headway is when there will be the capacity flow or the traffic volume will be maximum so at capacity flow we know that as i told you earlier that at capacity flow density is half of the jam density so you can also write this equation that is risk uh, one divided by space headway this will be equal to density but density at the capacity flow is half of the jam density. So for K, you can write Kj divided by 2. The, in short, you can write 1 by space headway. This will be equal to Kj divided by 2. This space headway, this is the minimum space headway corresponding to the capacity flow when the density is the, uh, when the, density is the half of the jam density. So you can also write this space headway. This will be given as 2 divided by Kj. Okay and the units of density this is vehicle per kilometer so the unit of the space headway this will be kilometer per vehicle so also you can write this kilometer you can change it into the meter so you will multiply this two with thousand so you can write this as two thousand divided by and the density jam density this we found out in the uh, first uh, part of this problem which was equal to 194.4 okay vehicle per kilometer so you can write space headway as 2000 divided by 194.4 meter per vehicle or the value of space headway this you can write as 10.3 meter it means that the minimum space headway at the capacity flow will be 10.3 meter between two vehicles so this is how you can calculate the traffic flow parameters from the speed density relationship. Okay, I hope this solution video was clear and you definitely learn something new from this video. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel and share this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.